So the audio on this video is um, added after the event and the reason for that is I'm in Paris here and it was quite stressful driving around on the wrong side of the road for a start and wasn't really in the mood for, for vlogging and you know I got a lot to concentrate on. So um, yeah I had to go to Paris to pick up uh, an illegal immigrant friend of mine from New Zealand who didn't think he'd get into England and uh, to save him getting turned away and going straight back on the aeroplane to New Zealand, which would suck. Um, I picked him up on my bike and I thought I'd take him through a small port. Unfortunately, he didn't get in, uh, but that's another story. Um, so yeah, I'm here in Paris and I just thought I'd show, I keep saying to Mordef all the time, you know, wow, Paris is beautiful, you know, we should go. And he was a bit of a miserable bugger and didn't want to drive all that way, whatever. But um, so I thought I'd show you in a little video. It's kind of interesting. This is something else. <clears throat> I mean, I've driven around France quite a bit, but I've never actually ventured into Paris. I'm glad I did now. Aha, uh -huh, no, hold on a minute. I know where I am now. Well, no, that's a complete lie. I've got an idea of where I am. <laughs> Just that. And honestly, I really can't say in North how this video does not do it justice whatsoever it was it amazed me you know and i'm I, i've been around france quite a lot it was really 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 beautiful it was a good day for it how could you live here and not be impressed with that every single day I don't really know how these roads work, so I'm just going to follow a scooter for a minute. Jesus. And what you've not seen, um, because I'm not going to bore you with it, but 90% of the time I was in Paris, it was just gridlock. It was, it was insane. You know, without being on a motorbike, it would have taken me three days just to get through Paris in a car. You know, it was, it was how people use a car in Paris, I will never know. But this road was kind of weird because there was um, like 10 lanes, no road markings. There doesn't really seem to be any lane system, we just fit in where you can. And unfortunately, my camera connection is a little bit loose, so every time I twist my head to the right, right. it messes up a little bit, as you can see. Which is a real shame. Wow. So this is obviously the Eiffel Tower. Um, and it, it's a real shame in fact because Paris, beautiful place. Lovely landmark, really nice, sweet. As you can probably see there, they've stuck this stupid um, circle of stars on the tower, and at night they shine blue lights at it. And what they're trying to do um, is, is, it's an icon of the European flag. You've got the blue back of the flag with the, the circle of gold stars. It's all going well, but it just looked, I, mean, I remember me and my friend both saying, you know, it looked tacky as hell, and it really, really did spoil it. So I don't really know what that's all about, but um, that was a real shame. Oh, I'm pretty tired, I had probably four hours sleep. And what is that about on the ferry? They have this alarm that comes on an hour before you, uh, before you land. So you, know, you get on the ferry at 12, you're getting off at 6.15. So you've got six hours sleep at best. Well, no, not really, because obviously you're still going to board and faff about and uh, whatnot. 
So yeah, they have this flipping alarm that goes off. An hour, more than an hour, an hour and 15 minutes before you land. I'm like, cheers for that, I could have had another hour's sleep. I was on the old, on the ferry, they have the uh, proper massive gambling machines, slot machines, I guess you Yanks would call it. Some of them have a thousand dollar, or five hundred pound jackpot. And uh, everyone I went on, I thought, I'll put a couple of quid in this one now, I'll put a couple of quid in the next one, and there was this kid following me around. Well, a couple of chavs actually, following me around. And uh, every, every, after I'd finished on every machine, they, they'd go on it and win the bloody jackpot every single time. God, this is bedlam. Something else that the video just does not do justice. Um, and maybe because I wasn't on this road for that long because it scared the hell out of me but it's like a 30 lane roundabout 20 30 lane roundabout with no road markings and this thing's coming from everywhere and allegedly I only heard this I don't know whether it's true but allegedly um, French drivers are not insured this is the only road in France that insurers will not insure anyone on um, because it has such a high accident rate apparently but it was in complete bedlam and it scared the hell out of me if i'm truthful which i'm not ashamed to be yeah sorry that was bloody bedlam that was not all the triumph yeah so every machine they went on I, i'd go on a machine a couple of quid you know and they'd go on it right after me fucking jackpot everyone They came out with a thousand dollars and I came out with minus, minus 20 odd quid or something. And then in a second the video is going to flick and when it does I'm no longer talking to the camera. I have my passenger on the back, I've picked him up and I've got intercom. And you, you can just about hear him if you bothered, there's nothing to hear. But I'm just letting you know I'm not talking to you guys anymore. No, that's road, that just means road. So they're all called that, road or something. Well, I guess we're going straight on now. Huh. Well, if nothing else, it's pretty. See, I don't recognise this either. Where? That doesn't help either. It does? So, where's, where's the other triumph? Where? On the right? Oh, look at that. That fucking crane would get out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that what they're doing? I know that. Fucking hell, it's hot. <laughs> 